Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW guys, X1, okay, X1 E84 guys, generation, and you have a six cylinder guys or four cylinder engine, and you're trying to find where your knock sensors are located and how to replace them, stay with us, we'll, we'll explain that today guys. We'll demonstrate on six cylinder engine, N52 engine, but if you have N51, N52, N53, N54 guys engine, or even N55, and you're trying to find where guys the knock sensors are located, that's what we're going to cover and we will explain everything from start to finish guys. Now, quick introduction to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos, specifically on BMWs. In some cases, we make more than 500 videos guys, because they have more modules, more uh, complicated things to fix. So uh, that's why we make all these videos guys, so we can save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys, so we can can keep providing these free videos. Now, if you need to buy replacement knock sensors, any tools, parts for your BMW, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. So, what do we guys have here now? This is N52 engine. Now, that same engine has been used in BMW 3 Series as well, guys. Uh, now, we're demonstrating actually on a 3 Series, but it's the same in an X1, X3, 5 series guys, that same N52 engine has been used in multiple vehicles. Now, uh, the only t difference will be the peripherals around the engine, okay, let's say coolant reservoir may be on a different place, but other than that guys, the procedure is about the same. So, things to do guys, before you start working on your knock sensor, you need to guys um, disconnect the car battery, number one. Why? Because the alternator is right here, engine starter is underneath, and if you touch your, the terminals with a wrench or a tool, guys, what will happen? Okay, you can see sparks flying, so that can cause damage to the electrical system, you can burn the engine computer, you can burn uh, modules, guys, and that could be catastrophic and super expensive to fix, or in some cases it could be just a burn fuse, okay, but it still, guys, takes quite a bit of time to find which one and to uh, fix that problem. Another thing now, guys. It really matters how you disconnect the battery, okay. Positive or negative terminal, which terminal you disconnect first. If you do not know that already, we have the video on the channel and I'll put the link in the description of the video below, which battery terminal to disconnect first. Very important, guys. Once you do all that, you will need to locate your intake manifold, okay. It will be attached to your engine cylinder head. That intake manifold, the whole assembly will need to be removed. Now, we will, guys, have the video on the channel and I'll put the link in the description of the video below how to remove okay or how to uh, replace intake manifold everything from start to finish some of you know that so that's why I don't want to waste your time but if you don't know that link will be in the description of the video below every time you remove the intake manifold put new gaskets guys okay so you don't have to do the job again they're not expensive and uh, that could be definitely guys okay something that can cause a problem in the future now, once you remove it guys, okay, this is your six cylinder engine, cylinder number one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you look under cylinder number two and five, you have two knock sensors. Now, if you have a four cylinder engine, the location will be about the same as well, guys. Now, unfortunately, okay, on that six cylinder engine, you cannot replace only one sensor. You have to replace both of them at the same time, guys. And what we need to get now, okay, we need uh, to disconnect the wire. Okay, the wire is in that uh, uh, wire box okay right here and that bottom wire is for the knock sensor so pry that tooth okay and pull it out next we need to get a tool guys okay a tool let me show you what the tool looks like this one right here and this is called a reverse torx 12 socket guys we will have the link in the description of the video below go ahead and remove the two bolts okay one bolt holding the knock sensor on the back side one on the front side perfect one bolt per knock sensor. Get them loose and later you can just pull them out. Okay, perfect. What do we guys have here? Okay, this is it. Knock sensor one, knock sensor two, and this is guys, okay. This is right here, you can see uh, the connector guys for the knock sensor, so we, you get the idea guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to do something like that. Uh, putting it together is in reverse order with two kilo part. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and see you guys next time.